What's up amigos? This is a PowerView tutorial on how to make a threshold. So we have our playlist here for other PowerView tutorials. If you don't know how to get to something like this, check out that playlist and you will be able to get to here. And then you can do a threshold. So what is a threshold? A threshold is very important because it allows you to show where in the flow in your domain you have certain var values. So let's say you want to look at where in the flow do you have a pressure between a certain value and a certain value. You can then make a threshold to see that. You can do that with velocity, vorticity, whatever you want. That's very, a very powerful way of looking at the flow. And we're gonna look at how to do that in this tutorial. So we have two mango foam. Um, this is a simulation of a mango. <laughs> it's, uh, we use it for our other CFD videos for entertainment. You can look at those as well if you like. But um, we have two mango files here. This mango one that I have highlighted, this is for this mango that you have um, viewed. I can toggle this on and off with the visibility. The other one, let's toggle the back on. The other one is the internal mesh. And this is very important. This is probably more important than the actual mango itself. And I can toggle this on and off if I like. I'm going to keep it off because you don't need it to do a threshold. So to do a threshold, you come up to this toolbar here and you have a bunch of different options and we've done them on slices and streamlined traces as well. If you want to check out those, check out the playlist for our PowerView tutorials, or you can check out our CFD courses. We cover this as well and in more depth. But to do a threshold, you come to this one, which has like this kind of T looking bar and it has threshold when you highlight over it. Click that. What this does is you have a threshold point come up. Now I want to reiterate that I'm going to delete this first. I'm going to want to reiterate that you have to click this mango phone and then click the threshold. If I click anything else, it's not going to get the threshold of the entire domain. It's just going to get the threshold of whatever I click. I want the entire domain. So I'm going to click the threshold for this mango. And you can see that this is for the entire domain because it comes directly underneath the mango foam in a straight line. If I had, let's say I wanted to do for the slice that I did beforehand, have that clicked and then I click the threshold, you can see now this line is coming directly from the slice and that's not good because it means that the threshold is only in this slice that I have. I want it for the entire domain. So click the mango and click that. Okay, so this properties bar comes up and we have scalars, so we can have um, the pressure, the uh, K, omega, you can add other things if you want to in there as well. I'm not gonna get into that. If you wanna uh, learn about that, check out our CFD courses. Uh, but if you want to figure out what threshold you want, so let's say the minimum for the threshold is 362 pascals. So anything, any pressure, any cell in this domain that has a pressure of 362 pascals or higher up to the maximum, we're going to grab those cells and highlight them, make them visible. Now the maximum I'm going to put at, let's say minus 230. So then I'm going to click apply. What you see now are all these little cells popping up. If I toggle them off, the mango is smooth. When I toggle them on, these little cells are popped up. So what these cells mean are they lie between a pressure of minus 362 and minus 230 pascals. That's the range. And I can toggle the mango off and I can see these cells here show just that. These are the only cells in the, in the entire domain that lie in this value. And I can change this to whatever I want. I can go minus 220 if I like, increase them like that. And that will show you just how many there are. This is a very powerful tool in terms of figuring out where low pressure is or where velocity is highest or whatever. If you want to get better at CFD, including PowerView with the post analysis, check out our CFD courses, link in the description. And make sure to like, subscribe, and check out the instrumentation we do at Prenox. We have the Atmosphere Hawk, we have Experimental, instrumentation to make your CFD easier to validate and check out the comments on every year. Links in the description. Peace out.